Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a date calculations for dates that occur before 1900. So for folks that are trying to do some date calculations, and I'm only going to do year calculations uh, for dates that occur before 1900, you're probably aware that um, when you put a date that is before uh, 19, before January 1st, 1900, and you notice that you'll see errors if you try to perform calculations on dates that occur before January 1st, 1900, and this is and this is basically on uh, Excel windows, and that's because the the dates, the zero, zero numbers for dates start on that date, January 1st, 1900, and starts with number one, and and so on. If we wanted to do calculations and try to calculate year differences prior to 1900, and I'll show you, this is what really happens um, when you're trying to do that. If you try to do that, uh, it will give you an error. And let, let's just start with an example. So for example, we have uh, between, um, we have a start date of 1-1-1905 and an end date of 1-1-2005. That's about 100 years difference if we wanted to calculate the year differences. So, I mean, the easy way to do that w is to pull out the year for this date and pull out the year for that date and subtract. So we can do that by typing year. And the year function basically takes the zero number. Uh, let's, let's do that year minus the, well, let's, let's just see how it works. So the year has, it'll show us 2005. So that gives us 2005. And the same year function for that will give us uh, 1905. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take the year of 1905, that one, and subtract it. And that'll give us 100 years. But you see here, if we put this as 1805, let's do 1805. You notice now there's an error, and also a telltale sign that uh, this is not a value is once we put that year, we change it to 1805. You notice that it shifted over the the text or the value there shifted over to the left, indicating in Excel it sees it as a text value. We have uh, this value here that is on the right, aligned on the right. It indicates that it's a um, it's a number value, and so that's why we get that error. Now. There, I'm going to show two ways that we can work around this error. And one is basically using a combination of functions to, to get that. And the other one is actually using VBA that uh, I got off Microsoft's site. And so I'm not a VBA guy. I'm going to show you how you can just put that VBA into your Excel and calculate it. So basically, let's go ahead and start with the first example here. And I've already got it kind of laid out here. And basically, it's just using the, the right function and the text function. And it's going to take the text representation of a date, and this is something before 1900, 1805, and it's going to do it for both cells. I have to have one cell here that has that function, the other cell here that has the function, and if I want to calculate it out, basically I'm just going to minus D from C. So if I do equals D minus C, it'll give me 200 years, which is the difference here, right? So let me go ahead and step you through what uh, these set of functions are actually doing. I'm going to go ahead and just remove these two here. And I'm going to show you from the inside out, we had the text function, and then we had the other one called the write function. So what it's going to do is I'm going to write up the text function first. So what the text function does is it converts a value to text. So I'm going to take this value here, and then I'm going to convert it to a text format. And I'm going to use month, day, and then year. So uh, two digits for month, two digits for day, two, four digits for year. Close it in quotes, uh, close parentheses, press enter. And you notice nothing really happens. So what happens is it's going to uh, take that text and try to convert it into uh, the value. But since it's already a text, it's going to just bring back that te text. You, you'll notice that there's a difference here if it is a value already. So I type text and then bring select this value and do the same thing month, day, year, and then close quotes, it's going to bring it back in that format. So you notice that there is a difference here when it sees text versus uh, a value. Now the real magic happens is when we're trying to pull out the last four digits. So I'm going to pull out the last four digits with a function called the write function. So basically what's going to do is it's going to take uh, that text that I'll put it from the text value or that value and I want to look from starting from the right of the cell go back four, take those four uh, digits so I'm going to use that four digits and then that's, that's going to give me the 1805 do the same thing here so I'll go ahead and type right and then do the uh, four digits from the right and it's going to get, bring me back 2005 now the only difference is going to be subtraction so that cell 
minus uh, this cell, which gives me 200. So that's how we can get our year. So uh, this also works if this is just a, uh, if you had a table of this data and some of it was data before 1900 and some of it wasn't, you, this will also work. So let's say that we had 1905, right? So this works even with uh, your cells that have uh, post-1900 type of data on your start date. So you can, it's, if it's a mix and match scenario and you want to do the year, number of years difference, you can still put this into a table, these three uh, columns, and you can just copy them all down and it'll work for you. Now, an alternative way is to use VBA. And we're going to go to Microsoft site. They actually have a knowledge base article that talks about this. And I'll just kind of show the function uh, as it works. And particularly, the function is called uh, age function. So if I type age or age func, and I put a start date here, and then an end date here, it'll calculate it out. And you can see that if I put uh, 1805, which is something pre-1900, it will calculate it out. So this age function is a uh, VBA macro. Uh, or it's a program written in VBA. Uh, Microsoft provides it. Let me go ahead and go to the Microsoft site to show you what it looks like. So we go to uh, support.microsoft.com. This is the knowledge base article a number 245104 and it tells you how to calculate uh, ages uh, or basically values years that are before January 1st 1900. And it, it goes right down here where we t it has this pretty long uh, VBA uh, script or, or, or set of functions, right? And so you basically just need to copy that down. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new spreadsheet. And let me go, actually, let me go back to my old spreadsheet here. I'm just going to copy this part. Uh, control C to copy and then Control V to paste. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right, so we have our start date and end date and we want to figure out the years between that. So what we do is we go to the Microsoft site and basically just copy it down. So this is uh, just select this whole whole range. Uh, let's see, it's pretty large. All right, control C to copy. And the instructions are here on the Microsoft site, but I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna go through them step by step here. I'm just gonna go and show you how it's done here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna open up the VBA editor. So now I'm gonna open up the VBA editor and you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt, the F11 key. And it's gonna open up the VBA editor, the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications editor. And what we wanna do is insert, make sure that we're under our, our particular um, file here. Uh, and go ahead and insert the module. So we're going to insert a new module and it basically gives us a blank. We do control, control V to paste. So this will paste that particular uh, module in there. right? And so I can go ahead and just save that. And so we're going to have to save this as an Excel um, macro workbook. So basically that's going to give us a different type of file uh, ending extension. So that's going to be Excel macro enable workbook. XLSM. I will save that as XLSM. I'm just going to keep that workbook title, click Save, and that gives us the ability to run it now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go File, Close, and Return Mac. And now I have, I have, I should have that function available. So if I type equals AGE, age function, that's, that's going to be the function name. I can do start date, comma, end date. Uh, press enter or just uh, maybe close parentheses and then press enter you see we have our date function working it also works if we have uh, standard or regular or night post 19 or post 1900 um, dates and that will give us our calculation of 100 years there so there were the two ways that you can uh, work with dates that are before January 1st, 1900. Uh, you can either do the combination of the text and write functions, or you can go to the Microsoft Knowledge Base site and copy and paste that particular uh, piece of VBA code and put it into your particular file. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.